Hello, this is Andrew Perkins and this is part 5 in creating a blog using Ruby on Rails. In this video we're going to learn how to retrieve an individual post. This is our posts index page and it's retrieving and displaying all of our posts. Uh, what we'd like to do is for a user to be able to view just one of these posts at a time. Uh, to do that, you can access an individual post's show action or show view by going to posts slash and then the ID of the post that you want to view. So posts slash one would go to the show action and display its show view to display the first post. Uh, we wouldn't want our users to have to constantly keep entering in the ID of the post that they'd like to view as they might not know the ID. Uh, so what we'll do is we will modify our index page so that these titles for each of the posts is a link and we can click that link to view that particular post. So let's make those changes. We will go to our text editor and under the app folder under controllers we'll open up posts underscore controller dot rb and here is our show action and this is going to be used to retrieve an individual post and display that post. So we need to create a new instance variable to hold the post and then we're going to use the post model and its find method to retrieve an individual post. Uh, what we need to pass to the find method is the ID of the post that we would like to get. Uh, we can't just hard code in the ID because every time we access the show page it's going to constantly just show us the post with an ID of 1. So we need some way of grabbing the ID from the URL because the user might go to post slash 10 to view the 10th post if we had one. Uh, Rails makes it really simple to grab the ID that's passed into the URL. So if we go back to our text editor, to do so you can just access the params hash and grab the ID that was passed in through the URL. So this will be replaced with whatever ID was in the URL and then we'll find that particular post. It'll be stored inside of a post instance variable and remember instance variables are accessible inside of our view file so we'll be able to display that individual post. So let's go to our views folder, open up posts and let's open the show view and in here we'll create an h1 tag and open up our erb tags to output the posts content or title I mean and then we'll close the erb tag and we'll create a paragraph tag and we can output the posts content this time for real and finally I'll create a small tag and this time we're going to display the posts created at date so if you remember when we created our model and that generated the migration to create our posts table Rails created two timestamp fields for us for when the post is created and updated. In this case we're going to display the created at date of when this post was created. So we can save it and we'll switch to our browser and we can go to posts slash one to view that first post. Uh, let's now make the change to our index page so that these headings become links so that we don't have to type in the ID of the post in the URL to access it. So let's switch to our text editor again and the this is our index view so we need to modify the index view. So under views, posts, open up index.html.erb and here's the h2 tag, this is the title of our post so we want to change this to be a link. So to create a link, we can use the link to method, and what you pass to it first is what you want the linked text to be. We want the linked text to be the post's title. Then we use a comma, and we're going to pass in a second parameter to the link to method, and this time we're going to tell it where to link to. So we're wanting to link to our posts controller's show action to display a particular post. Uh, we could pass in the post ID but Rails has a shortcut and you can just pass in the actual post itself and Rails will create the appropriate link for you right to the show action and this will create a link with the link text being the title of the post and it'll link to that post so we can save our index view file switch to our browser 
we'll refresh the page and you can see that we now have links as our titles. If you look down here in the bottom left, you can see that it's linking to the appropriate post with the ID afterwards, post slash one and post slash four. So if we click on it, it takes us right to our show view and displays the information for that post. So I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.